Hey everybody, Blind Way Back. I'm Eric. I'm Calvin. I'm Eric. And we have SAO Abridged Episode 3, or Sword Art Online, because I want to say it the long way. Is that better? You were unhappy last time. We're still unhappy. Um, last episode was fun. They uh, defeated the boss. They defeated level 1. Level 1 boss. Yeah. 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 The so thing, the Moblin. They've been there for a Ganon. month. Kobold. Ganon. It was a Kobold, yeah. Was kobold a kobold. Lord. They've been there for a month. And 2,000 people have oh, died. They've been there for a month. 2,000 two, two people died. Fine. They didn't read the beta testers' notes. Right? Yeah. It was 80 pages. <laughs> 2,000 people died. What? <laughs> <laughs> so at least now they're past level 1. We'll have yeah. to see in this one where they are now and how much longer it's been. Okay. Because one month has passed, only one floor has gone through. So just imagine how much... Maybe now they kick it into gear. Maybe now they don't kick it into gear and they spend another month on the second floor. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know? I need to grind a lot and... Yeah. yeah, go kill some more boars. Yeah. In the jungle. Forever. Like in South Park. <laughs> Forever. <laughs> Forever. So, so let's see what happens here in SAO Episode 3. three. Or sort out online for the people who want to say it long ways. Episode 3. Calvin, hit the button. Hit the... Eric, hit the button better! The following is a non-profit fan-based parody. Sword Art Online is owned by A1 Pictures, Aniplex USA, kind of and Reki Kawahara. Please support the official release. No. No. English accent. Oh. Christmas. It's a Christmas episode. Damn it, we missed it. It's the mustache. It's John Butelite for Italian stereotype. Oh, hello. Didn't see you come in. I am Sir Jack Dapper. But of course you already knew that. It is my great honor today to introduce you to the Sword Art Online Christmas Extravaganza. A touching tale of whimsy, adventure, and the true meaning of friendship. So, I have my book, I have my bourbon. Gather round, children, let's make some Christmas. This is the story of the Red-Nosed Reindeer. They have, they, have the they have Christmas hats on all of them. <laughs> they have the Roto Christmas hats on all of them. I wonder if they're going to have Christmas hats throughout the whole episode. That'd be great. On every single every one. Every person. Somebody hates their lives because they had to do that. Every MMO has some kind of special Christmas event. It's not tracked super well. <laughs> no. So we're online Christmas. Okay. Our magical journey began in April, apparently. That's a bit odd. <laughs> Guess we're going for a slow burn on this one. Oh <laughs> well, I can dig it, as the kids would say. Our story began at the local davening hole, where our hero, Kirito, had just made some new friends. Or homies, if you will. I'll stop now. To Kirito! Who are you people, and why are you at my table? Ah, Kirito. Can I call you Kirito? No. Here's the thing, Kirito. I couldn't help but noticing while I was rifling through your character page... I thought I had that set to private. ...that you are not associated with any guilds. So the crew and I... I call them the crew, by the way. We're thinking that you should join our guild. Yeah, I'm not gonna do that. No, I know what you're thinking. Am I really worthy to join these awesome dudes? I've literally never thought that about anyone. But let me assure you, we could certainly use someone with your... Assets. Oh. Hey, hey, my eyes are down here. Right, right. So what do you my say, Kirito? Can I call you Kirito? God, no! Mm, I see. And what if I put on this hat? Oh, don't be ridiculous. What the hell am I signing? Her to the newest member of the Moonlit Black Cats, to Kirito! Damn it! So let me introduce you to the crew. I call them the crew, by the way. So I've heard. This here is Sachi. And, uh, the rest are NPCs. Wait, what? <laughs> yeah, they're all with different quests. They help you fight, and as long as you never finish, they stay with you. We must save my family! The bandits are coming! Um, is that important? Oh my nah, gosh. it's just That's part funny. of the quest. They say that, like, every four seconds. Always remember to jump, jump! And, uh, he's from the tutorial. <laughs> it's not a tutorial. Winners don't use drugs, except steroids. In which case, use lots of drugs. Wait, so you never finished the tutorial? Hey, just because I can't play the game doesn't mean I can't play the game. Wink. I feel like you don't know how winking works. Th thank you for joining our guild, Mr. Kir 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 Kirito. Sweet merciful Buddha, what the fuck? Now, now, don't panic. Sachi just lives out in the boonies, so her internet connection is kind of shit. <laughs> oh god, it's spreading! Grab the women yeah, right. and children! Yeah, we got them a shield! Haha! <laughs> <laughs> What shenanigans? Oh, Lots of video co-pilot. 
the But from the ashes sprouted a powerful friendship. And in time, Kirito found that he could almost tolerate them. Much like a fat man tolerates the tapeworms in his intestines. <laughs> like those tapeworms <laughs> that guild burrowed deep into his innards and gorged themselves on his leftovers until they began causing abdominal pain and diarrhea. I realize the metaphor's breaking down a bit here, but Granny Dapper didn't raise no quitters. In any case, things were about to change for young Kirito as he learned one fateful night. Hey, Kirito, buddy! Sachi kinda ran off and we don't know where she went. Could you be a pal and track her down? I look for her myself, but the NPCs are sort of blocking the door and I can't get out. We must save Good luck with that, Kata. It's my day off. And because I know it's your day off, I went ahead and included a little motivation. Right. Kata, when have you ever had anything I... Oh, the charisma hat? Plus 50 charisma. I hate that goddamn hat! <laughs> <laughs> no, Sachi, Kata said you ran off or... Jesus Christ, what's wrong with your eyes? What? Oh, right, detective mode. One sec. <laughs> oh, that's brisk. Is it supposed to hurt like that? I don't think so. Unless a game is developed by a sadist. Well... Yeah, I heard it. So anyway, I figure I got about, oh, five minutes before I back out from the pain. So, Princess, why'd you run off? Because I'm terrified my leg is going to get me and everyone I love killed. Well, shit, I don't know how to mock that. Oh, God, that's never happened before. Well, maybe this is something you don't need to mock. Uh, <laughs> okay. But then what's the point of other people if not to mock them? You know, I'm starting to see why people think you're an asshole. People think I'm an asshole? And so they talked all through the night. And slowly, Kirito began to see the error of his ways. If that seems like a combo to you, congratulations! You got a cookie. Wow, Sachi, you've really opened my eyes. I've been such a jerk. Well, no more. You're looking at a whole new Kirito. From now on, I'm going to be nicer and show people the compassion they deserve. So, can we talk about my problems now? Ugh, no one cares. Oh. <laughs> hey, I thought you said you were going to black out from the pain. Oh, yeah. Guess I'm just a lot tougher than a th- Hey, crew. I know you guys have been working really hard, and I've got some good news. And? A and some bad news. The good news is we're in debt to the mob. No, wait, that's the bad news. Also, there's no good news. There's a mob in this game? Oh, uh, yeah, I may have promised some, let's say, unsavory individuals that I could duplicate their rare item. And, well, uh, it turns out that got patched. So then why don't you just <laughs> give back their item? Yeah. Well, here's the thing. I kind of sold it, and now... The bandits are coming! Precisely! The <laughs> says all will be forgiven if we replace the item. Well, okay, that doesn't sound too... Here's the thing. There it is. It only drops on the 27th floor. Is that a problem? Well, uh, let me put it this way. Take the most horrific, awful thing you can think of and multiply it by cancer. But you'll do fine. You've got Kirito. And he's practically carrying this crew. Practically? Kirito. I'm sorry. So on that note, what do you guys think? Well, no offense, but that's the most... Probably fine idea I've ever heard. That's a weird way to phrase that. Don't push me on this. All right, so we got us a game plan. Wait, you didn't say what you're doing in all this. Well, the thing about that is... Later! <laughs> he's got his charisma hat back. Yeah, we need to take that hat away from him. God, we've been looking for hours. Why is this stupid thing supposed to drop anyway? Uh, Kirito, did Kira even tell us which item we're looking for? Son of a... We must save <laughs> my family! Oh, wow. A <laughs> the empty chest in an empty room. Yeah, this looks legit. Come on, guys. Even we're not dumb enough to fall for this. <laughs> Sachi, you set them to auto loot, didn't you? Yeah, I thought it would save time. Uh, oh, yeah. We're sprinting to our deaths at record speed! Well, it might not be a trap. Maybe we just want a friend or something. Decoying Slaughternauts and Murder Dolls. Oh, wow. Slaughternauts, Slaughternauts and Murder Dolls? Murder Dolls? It must be my birthday! I thought you were going to be nicer. Baby steps! It's okay. We'll just grab one of the top for Christmas from Gary. Who the fuck is Gary? We must save my family! 
That was scary. Of course it was! No, 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 it's fine! Charlie's got a bunch of health potions! Which one's Charlie? Never mind, I got it! Well, we still... Oh, God, stop! Look, we're just gonna have to fight our way out. Okay, I'm scared, but I trust you. Do you, do you, do you, do you? Oh. no! Kirito, this isn't your fault. <laughs> it's not your fault. <laughs> Well, that was grim. But as with all things, there is always a silver lining. Or you see, Kirito still had one friend left with whom he could share his grief. Kira! Yeah! Uh, Christmas! <laughs> Christmas! <laughs> no one can kill him for Christmas! Yeah. Christ, I need more bourbon. They say the Santa Claus will appear beneath a certain fir tree tonight and grant whoever finds him an item that will give anyone a Merry Christmas. Now that will be 200 gold. Balls? My name is Klein. That was unsettling. What the hell was that? I correct people so often, they think it's how I say hello. Well, that's unfortunate. <laughs> so what are you doing out here? Yeah, I've been having this weird pain in my chest. I was hoping this rare item might be able to fix it. Well, that's strange. What do you think caused it? Well, I suppose it started right after I watched my entire guild get slaughtered. But I mean, I didn't take any damage, so that can't be it. Oh my god! Gary Dunn. As the sole survivor of the Midnight Black Cats, the debt naturally falls to you. The Don sends his regards. Well, as many questions as this raises, I'm gonna keep this brief. Kirito, you're not injured. You're sad that all your friends died. Wow, I never thought about it like that. Yeah, big shock, you friggin' sociopath. Look, I've heard rumors that item might be able to res players. It's a long shot, but you owe it to yourself to try. Go on ahead. We'll hold them off. That's the nicest thing anyone's ever done for me. Thank you, Klein. <laughs> hey, boss. <laughs> it's Klein. Don't open it for me. And there, balls. under it's that Klein. frosted fir tree, Kirito spotted the big man himself, streaking through the snowy sky on a sleigh full of Christmas cheer. The patron saint of prostitutes. Look it up. Old Saint Nick. No. <laughs> is, is, is Santa really in the game? <laughs> yeah. This is an actual boss. It was a special event boss that they have in the game. Kirito, how'd it go? Did you win? Does this look like the face of victory to you? You didn't get it? Oh, I got it. It's a hat. It's a goddamn hat. Well, what do you want to do with it? Wear it, poop in it. I don't really care anymore. But I do suppose I should thank you. You made me realize that by being nice and letting people in, they'll just die. But even still, thank you for showing me that there's still a part of me that can feel like this. Because now that I know where to find it, I've killed it forever. So thank you. Thank you for freeing me. Balls. No. No. You were so close. You were almost a person. You were so close. And so they say, Kirito's heart grew three sizes that day, and immediately shrank six, imploding into <laughs> a black hole from which no love could escape. The end. <coughs> oh, I'm sorry, were you expecting a happy ending? Well, I'm afraid the world doesn't work that way, bucko. The only thing you can hope for in life is that you make enough money to fill the void left behind by the woman you love. Which you take your children to some island in Tahiti with a cabana boy half a fucking age. Well, look at me now, you harlot. I'm still alone with all my money. God, I'm alone. Oh, alone. <laughs> He's a little drunk. Merry Christmas, everyone. <laughs> hey. That butler oh, with a fake oh, mustache. I'm what? sorry, Don. We finally tracked down the one known as Kirito, but we were beaten back by the legendary warrior Balls Deep 69 and his men. The boy escaped us yet again. I have no excuse, but I promise you, we will get back what was stolen. What are your orders? Don Fluffles. 
I like that. So the cat learned how to play. And now he's the head of... Head of a mob. Of a, of a mob job. <coughs> I, like that. I like that right there. This episode here was one that like some people talked to me about like being more fluff, even though Sword yeah. Online is very short. But this one always felt like a very kiddito-driven moment. Yeah. Because the whole thing is... They're not, yeah, I can not, I can see the real episode behind you, you, you kind of get what yeah, really would have happened with the there. whole everything that happened with that yeah yeah, yeah. now I, I have to assume there. that the the one guys were not NPCs in the no they were no show. none of them were NPCs yeah. they were all real people that was funny though and there was no mob yeah they, he was going to buy them a house okay they, they had earned all this money like we're gonna get a guild house yeah and they were like hey let's go and fight some bad guys and try to earn some more money while he's out buying the house that's why he left. Yeah. And they found a room that was a trap, and Kirito mm -hmm. had led them to believe that their guild was fairly strong, but really, somehow you can't see what anyone's levels are. He was at his levels or something like that. So they all thought they were all, like, level 20, when he was actually, like, level 40 or 50, yeah. and could just solo stuff pretty easily. Yeah. So he was he was, he was was literally was carrying yeah. most stuff So they, they came yeah. into a big room where he could take care of things, but they couldn't, and they all just yeah. died. Yeah. So. And then the one guy... Found out that he they found all out died. that they all died. And that all he, his friends. He and lied. Stuff. Why wasn't he there in the beginning? Because he was out buying a house. Okay. He was at yeah. The, yeah. Okay. He left to go buy the house. Like, hey, we'll earn more money, and he'll be happy. Sure. And he blamed himself for not telling the truth and everything. Yeah. And so and then he goes back to being a solo player again. Yeah. Yeah. I. I mean, I find it weird that uh, the guys that are doing the abridged chose to make their main character so unlikable. Just such a dick. Yeah. Like yeah. He's, he doesn't like it. You know, like you know, Goku and abridged, and Goku and. <laughs> The real Dragon Ball, you know, he's fun and happy to be around, you know. And this guy doesn't. And then seem... Vegeta is the dick. And stuff, yeah, you know? yeah, like but if that's also balance. fun too. This is kind of seems like, um, like I like everything about him right now. Yeah, I know that makes sense. sense. Yeah, like I enjoy. I kind of enjoy what they do with Klein. I like the balls deep yeah. joke. Yeah, you know, stuff like that. I like the internet joke and like she died because she lagged. Yeah, <laughs> you know that stuff was fun too. It, it'd but... probably be funnier for if I actually knew the character. And yeah, maybe we're able to make the comparison that way. I guess. Yeah. I, I don't. I, I don't, I don't really it, like what they did with him either, yeah. honestly. It, but for me, it's actually detracting from from the original story. What they're taking yeah. away from it. Well, even DBZ abridged. Like you could feel, Goku. Yeah, go. Idiot, you're an idiot, Goku. Yeah. But do it. You can win, and yeah. you, you, yeah. you're strong. And yeah. this time he's just like he's a strong jerk. Yeah. And you're just kind of like I don't really like you. Yeah. And show more Klein. Some yeah. of their jokes were a little hit, hit or miss, but sometimes they they nail it. And yeah. But sometimes I'm like, All right. You know? Yeah. It, this was like a Christmas Eve time of, yeah. type of thing that happened. But yeah, like he said, it starts in April. And yeah. Then, I mean, I could have done without the Christmas bookends, but yeah. it's still good. And then like, well, I think they did that because the. Uh, the boss and stuff was like Santa. that. It was it was Christmas themed in yeah. game. It was gotcha. it was one of the yeah. events. I know. So. I, I understand. But it was months later. Yeah. So like, but oh, the item too. The item was in a hat. The item could revive somebody, but it had to be administered like ten seconds during after that, like after died. death. Within yeah. yeah, within like it was longer than ten. seconds. I was gonna say like, like two thousand people month, died over so. the course of like a month. I was like, you gonna know, was it resurrect like actually them too or just like their character yeah, it has to be fairly quick so apparently like someone yeah. dies and then after a little bit of time of them dying game okay. then they die in but they, life, do so. they keep that item then um or he he actually does give it to klein okay. yeah he just tells klein to have it because he has no use for it sure. yeah so. so he's a solo player he would never be around anybody okay he couldn't use it himself if he died yeah. and both guilds showed up trying to find that boss yeah sure so there's no mob Interesting. but otherwise like but yeah. there's a kitty a kitty leading the mob <laughs> so I'm interested to see what they do more with it, yeah. um, and some of the other characters that return and whatnot, recurring characters and yeah. stuff like that. So this I'm, I'm, stuff. I'm definitely like reserving my judgment in the sense of like, is it like really good or not? Mm -hmm. Right now, I feel like it's like, it's pretty good, mm -hmm. but uh, so many people online have said that it's really good. So maybe we just gotta get more into it. Yeah, yeah. I think there's a. I'm, I'm hoping it's like DBZ a bridge where it just keeps getting yeah. better yeah. as they go. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, we'll probably continue on to episode four, so make sure you follow along with us. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Make sure you guys check out blindwave.net for everything Blindwave. Mm. And until next time, I'm Aaron. I'm Calvin. I'm Eric. And we'll see you guys later. Eric, hit the huh? button. Me? Me. You. <laughs> <laughs>